Hi, this is Jill from stampwithjill.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this feather card made with the lovely Amazing You stamp set. So let's get started. First, here's a shot of the stamp set. This is Lovely Amazing You. It's brand new. It came out just a couple days ago and it is super, super cute and we're going to make an awesome card. So first we're going to start off with a crumb cake card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and it is scored down the middle at four and a quarter. Then we have an early espresso layer, and this is four by five and a quarter. And then we have an irresistibly yours designer paper. This is celebration, so you can earn this for free with your $50 purchase. And that is three and three quarters by five. Then I have a piece of Whisper White for the inside of the card, which is four by five and a quarter. And I have a piece of Whisper White that's two and a half by three, and an Early Espresso layer, which is three and a quarter by two and three quarters. And you can see that layer's right on. So let's get started with stamping. So first I'm going to stamp the feathers, and because this stamp set is photopolymer, we're going to use the stamp and pierce mat for a cushion. The ink that I have today is crumb cake and early espresso. So first I am going to stamp the feathers. So I'm going to ink this up in crumb cake and I am going to stamp a feather and then not re-ink it again and stamp a second feather. And that's how you get the lighter one. Then I'm going to ink up the feather one more time and stamp a third feather. Then I'm going to take the Can't Thank You Enough stamp set or sentiment and I'm going to ink that in early espresso and slightly overlap the feathers. Now we can set that aside. Now the Irresistibly Yours designer paper is colorable and I'm going to show you how to do that. So here we have the crumb cake ink pad and I have a sponge and I'm going to dip it in the ink pad and we are just going to smear the ink on with the sponge. And the shiny part of the designer paper resists the ink. hear my table shaking a little bit. Okay, there you have it. So now you can see that it's fully colored. Okay, so and let's then. stamp the inside of the card. So here's the sample again so you can see it one more time. And here's the inside. So I stamped a few feathers on the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, this is crumb cake ink. You're only really using the espresso for the sentiment. So I stamped a feather, and then before re-inking it, I do a lighter feather. Okay, so now we can put the card together. So here is our crumb cake card base, and I'm gonna go ahead and tape that inside layer. So I have my snail adhesive. put that in. And then for the top of the card, I am going to adhere the sponge irresistibly yours to the espresso. And then adhere this to the card. Try to get that straight. Then we can put, go ahead and put the feathers on. And I'm going to use dimensionals for this panel. And we're going to 
to go ahead and put that right in the center. So, I am using gold buttons and gold baker's twine from the sample. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the baker's twine in there without too much hassle. So these are dental floss threaders and they look like this. And you can see that opening is a little bit wider than the actual hole on the button. So I'm going to work off of the, the packaging here so I don't have to cut a piece that's too long or too short. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread the dental floss thing. Like that. So then you're going to take your button and you're going to go ahead and go through the front. Now this is a little bit thicker than regular baker's twine so and then you're going to come in the other side. It's kind of thick coming through so apparently it's knotted too and twisted. So once you go ahead and pull that through then you have this nice long tail and you can go ahead and trim it and then take this off. These break, so you want to have a couple extra on hand, but you can reuse them. Okay, so then you're going to take your glue dots and you can smush your button into the glue dot till it sticks and go ahead and stick that to your card. Now you can tie your bow without it moving all over the place. So I am just going to tie this like I'm tying my shoe. I think I might need one extra glue dot under there, maybe not. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that. Whoops, came off. So I like to pull the threads a little bit, tighten it up. Let's go ahead and add some extra glue dots to that. Must not have been quite enough. I'm going to have three on the back of this little button. Put that back on. So now you have this nice big tail that you can go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. Untwist your little loops of your bow. And then go ahead and trim. I like them a little bit longer. And there you have it. So there's your card for today. Thanks for joining me. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a